I'm going away from using these standalone uh, digital drivers to using the Trinamic drivers on the Arduino CNC Shield. So I started off using these drivers, but it's very important for the microscope because of the tiny, tiny steps that we make for precision motion that we have the ability to programmatically alter the micro stepping size. So what I did was I took a ribbon cable and I hardwired these three uh, dip switches to externalize them so I could connect them to the Arduino pins and then switch them like that programmatically. But the problem with that is you have to have the same ground reference voltage on the Arduino that you have natively in this driver. And when I did, took my multimeter out and started looking at voltages, I realized that that's not the case. And that worked. I was able to programmatically control these drivers doing that mod. But, and this is where all the problems started, I found that there, I was getting erratic behavior. These, for example, didn't always power up when they were supposed to. I had to switch on and off several times. And I found that I was getting error signals on the uh, serial communications. Now, I thought maybe I could fix this if I had a look at the power supply and see if there was anything to do with the power supply I could fix. So that's what the uh, cathode ray oscilloscope is for. But if I put the probe on the center, which is the positive line, you'll notice that I've got a signal. But the thing is, it's also present on the negative line. So if I put it on the casing of the uh, uh, BNC like this, you get exactly the same signal. So I'll leave it uh, attached to the casing like that. And I'll show you this signal in a bit more detail. If I adjust the time base, you'll notice it's actually quite big spikes. You see that? And that is uh, plus and minus four large divisions, which is 0.4 of a volt fluctuating on the supposedly ground earth line. So I thought, okay, perhaps if I do something about this, it'll fix the problem. So I built this little filter, and that's why I put a BNC on the uh, power line. This is a power filter. It filters out AC, unwanted AC from uh, DC lines. And this is based on a, a PCB that I got out of an old microwave and I just modified it a little bit. So let us uh, plug the uh, DC output from the power supply into this filter. And now I'll put the oscilloscope on the um, output end. And there's still a signal there, but it's greatly reduced. So if I just uh, now adjust this, you'll see the peak-to-peak -peak difference is very, very much smaller. It's about one, just less than one large division. But unfortunately, this did not solve the problem. So that's why I've decided to move over to using the Trinamic drivers, using the Arduino CNC Shield. 